Well, it's the second fire at one Red Bank apartment complex in less than two months. The Ravenscroft Apartments just reopened after tragedy hit for the second time. News Channel 1's Makaya Thurman found out why residents are shocked to learn the cause of this latest fire. Makaya. Calvin Latricia, 10 families have been displaced due to smoke and fire damage. Fire investigators estimate damages to be around a quarter of a million dollars. Billows of smoke poured out of this Ravenscroft apartment building early Sunday morning. Firefighters were called in around 2 a.m. after a blaze broke out in a second floor apartment. We found out that the tenant had gotten up, um, gone to the bathroom, decided he was going to have a cigarette before he went back to bed came to sit down in his recliner to uh, have a cigarette, thought he turned off his oxygen generator machine and lit a cigarette. And when he did, then there was a fireball in his lap. Residents evacuated the building. The tenant rushed to the hospital. As firefighters knocked through windows and walls, they discovered several pets did not make it. So a, a search in upstairs apartments was uh, put into place and they found uh, two other cats and a dog. And unfortunately, all three animals uh, were deceased. Today, fire investigators returned to survey the damage. Sunday's blaze was the second fire in two months. A July fire displaced six families. This one impacted the entire building. But then when I saw that it was the same building again. I said, not again. Neighbors living across the street say they are shaken up, but are still very concerned about the gentleman that was engulfed in flames. Well, it was a scary situation, but accidents do happen. I, my prayers, heart goes out to all the families. Uh, especially the gentlemen. Others believe it's time for the apartment complex managers to step in. You gotta limit that. Smoking in apartments is just not a good thing. Fire investigators tell me that the victim had burn injuries on his left leg and abdomen. He has now been transferred to a burn center in Atlanta. Calvin. Thanks, Micaiah.